Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we spend the last two months completely complaining about the weather, but one of the joys about living in the North Country is the Lake George Winter Carnival, which wouldn't survive unless we had a winter like this. So joining me today is the Vice Co-Chair, Mike Chimiak. Yes, Jesse, how are you today? Hi, Good Michael. Day. Great Thanks to have you. you. Thanks for having me. Wonderful. Um, every year, and not every year has been equal, by the way. I think it was just a couple of years ago when the, the damn lake didn't even ice over, right? Just been, a, just been a couple of years, you're right, yeah. Well, I think we got some ice this year, don't you think? We got lots of ice. <laughs> <laughs> they're telling me maybe boating season start maybe in August. They're saying it's so... That's what they're saying. I know, two feet thick. Two down feet in the thick. So uh, southern Basin, right? Yep, yep. Two feet thick in the Southern Basin. We've got a lot of snow on the, on the lake, so yeah. we're good to go this year. Sometimes yeah. Mother Nature cooperates like this year, and sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, we've got one weekend left. The festival usually runs about four weekends, right? Early Feb to Yes, usually this starts the uh, first weekend of February, runs four, four, four weekends of uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. And uh, this year ending on March 1st. You know, uh, I told Mike before we. Uh, we went on air that uh, my wife and I went through Shepherd Park uh, last week uh, to see the sculptures. They were amazing. Yes. Absolutely uh, amazing. Ice sculptures and snow sculptures. Yes, both. Uh, right. We had a uh, snow sculpture contest this year that was put on yeah. by the Village of Lake George mm -hmm. in, uh, you know, with the Lake George Winter Carnival. And mm -hmm. uh, our ice carver, Glenn Durlacher, was involved with that, mm -hmm. helped set it all up. Mm -hmm. Worked out phenomenal. Brought in snow sculptures from out of the area, flew them in. And uh, as you saw them, we've got some great, great snow sculptures this year. I know. They're real works of art. They yeah, really they were. really are. Yeah. Very eclectic, very strange, some abstract, and, you know, not usual snowman with a carrot for a nose, right? Oh, <laughs> absolutely not. We've got octopus. Uh, I know. I uh, saw Snow that king looking thing and some yeah. elephants. And, yeah, very nice. So we got, the, this is the final weekend, and uh, we got some big events planned for the Yep, yep. Close it with a bang. <laughs> we got to go out with a bang, right? That's right. So <laughs> what do we got Saturday, Mike? Uh, Saturday, we ha started off with the cook-off. It's a chicken wing cook-off. Mm -hmm. uh, Twelve different restaurants mm -hmm. um, are involved, so each one cooking a, their own version of version, where they think yeah. their wing is the best. Um, five bucks to get you in, mm -hmm. and you get to sample them all and vote on which one you think is the best. And that would be, uh, I don't have the whole list in front of me, but usual suspects like Neptunes and Duffy's, Mario's, those guys. Yeah, King Neptunes and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. good, good. That's, that's nice to hear. Uh, one that really caught my attention, and you've got to explain it to us. <laughs> what the heck is turkey bowling? Okay. <laughs> turkey bowling is something for the kids. Um, I that, hope so. <laughs> that one of our uh, committee members came up with years and years ago. Uh -huh. It's basically bowling on a frozen surface with a frozen turkey instead of a bowling ball. So the little kids go out there and they kind of hurl a turkey down the ice at some pins and knock them over. It's, it's fun to watch and fun to do. You know, we've all tried it. It's great. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I, you know what? I'll leave that one to you, Mike. <laughs> I think my wife and I will just go for a nice long walk on there the you lake. Go. You know? <laughs> uh, we've got, uh, as I recall, dog sled rides and stuff. What are some of the other things? Yep, uh, dog sled rides, um, helicopter rides. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those are both going off both days. Um, we have uh, ice diving. Okay. Demonstrations, oh, cool. which is going to be cool. Um, they stay warm. They got uh, dry suits on and whatnot. There's, yes. you know, demonstrations of that. We've got uh, well, that's ATV. A different world I mean, down I'm sorry, there. divers, right? They go down and on yeah. the, the ice. It's a completely different world. Absolutely, you absolutely. I'd be afraid to go under the ice. Hey, if uh, of course big uh, event for families. Uh, if the kids want to get warm or something, we got something inside. Yes, we got uh, two places they can go inside with the kids. We got the Magic Castle. Uh, they're up across the street from where our mm -hmm. headquarters is in the Shepherd Park. Indoor, miniature golf, that kind of stuff. Crafts, also in King Neptune's Pub. Uh, face painting and crafts for the kids. Uh, so we got some indoor warm areas besides mm -hmm. just being out in the cold. So, I got you. Of course, uh, I was up, uh, like I said, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, you do some racing on the ice. Now, I know I missed the cars last week. <laughs> yep. But the week before, I think the week prior to that was uh, the RVs and stuff. Yeah, uh, the, the motorcycles and ATVs. Yes, yes. That was the second ATVs, weekend. ATVs, rather. Uh, yeah. First weekend of Carnival was outhouse races. You know, like yeah, you that's always a blast. <laughs> <laughs> last weekend was the cars, uh, AMEC car racing. Um, and but this the, weekend. It's the mother of them all this weekend. Yep, truck drags. Yeah. On the ice. <laughs> all classes. Uh, yes. Different classes. Yes, right? everything from stock classes right off the road uh, mm -hmm. up to full mods. I got you. Um, now, uh, again, because it's closing weekend, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a Lake George event if it didn't close without fireworks. We've right? got to have fireworks. Except not out of Shepherd Park, out on the lake. Out on the lake yeah, okay. um, or out uh, from the steel pier, depending on where oh, they set okay. up for access to the lake. Oh, you know, that kind of thing. They need to have a safety issue there, and they, they yeah, decide sure. that when they get there to set up. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got uh, 
uh, toasted marshmallows for the kids. They can make s'mores nice. and stuff like that. There's no cost for that. We we actually pay for all that for the kids. Mm -hmm. A little warming fire on the beach, and then mm -hmm. six o'clock comes the fireworks. Oh man, what what a weekend, right? Yeah, you know we're gonna end it off with a big raffle too. Oh yeah, tell tell us about the yeah, raffle. That pretty much sums up the carnival. Uh, Sunday afternoon, three thirty. You don't need to be there. Mm -hmm. It's a winner's choice, so you can either win a brand new Polaris Indy snowmobile and a trailer for mm -hmm. its double wide trailer, mm -hmm. or nice. a Kawasaki UTV mule. Okay, so Polaris Indy snowmobile with trailer or a four wheel drive utility vehicle. So uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I want to get my. Uh, <laughs> let me take a couple of tickets on that UTV. <laughs> there you uh, go. The UTVs, by the way, I know many of you know this, but that isn't just your regular ATV. That's a side by side with probably a little bed in the back. Yep. So if you own a place up the lake or you just need to haul stuff around in your property or stuff, those UTVs are seriously very handy. Useful. Very, yeah, very they, useful. <laughs> they are. Um, well, great, Michael. Uh, best of luck this weekend. It's, again, it's the, it's the apex of the North Country in the winter, the Lake George Winter Carnival. Yes. And uh, this weekend, uh, it starts usually around noon or 11 o'clock? 11, 11 a.m. some things. By noon, we'll be in full swing. Good, gotcha. Uh, they will be running a little bit later on Saturday because you, uh, they've got the bonfire, they've got fireworks. Yep, yep. And then on Sunday, it wraps up probably wraps late up. afternoon, right? 3.30, right at the raffle, will be our last thing right. on Saturday. I mean, on Sunday, sorry. Well, you've certainly had a great winter for it. And uh, I'm telling you, we saw it firsthand. It's spectacular. Hop in the car, hop in your SUV, get up there, and uh, take a look at the Lake George Winter Carnival. Participate. Thanks. Good, Michael. Thanks for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me, Jesse. I'll see Appreciate you. it. Thank you very see much. See you in the summer. All right. <laughs> see this interview again? Head to our website, looktvonline.com.